Hello, Michelle. How are you doing today? How's everything? Hey, Lindsay. I'm good. I'm good. How are you? I'm excited to be here today with you on video. Yes, we love being on video. And today we're here to talk about business English, Michelle. I mean, what do you think is the biggest challenge when it comes to business English or one of the biggest challenges, especially when we're doing this in a new language? Ooh, you know what? One of the I mean, this is tough for me. I think it's tough for everybody. Yeah. One of the biggest challenges, I think, is uh, dealing with negotiations. Oh, what my gosh. Think, oh, negotiations are difficult. They can be confusing. They can be stressful. They require a lot of preparation. Absolutely. I, I mean, what do you think are the main reasons why they're challenging, Michelle? Well, I think a couple things. Number one is like the language yeah. that you use, right? Yeah. And also culture. I mean, this could be, you know, we could mean culture around the world, but we could also mean like cult company culture and things like that. Just yes. I would say culture and language can just make this uncomfortable, maybe awkward. And there's there's a lot. There's a lot to go with that. Negotiations here. <laughs> totally, totally. And Michelle, international negotiations is something that we talk about in our yeah. exclusive business English course, the Chinese exclusive version of it. I want to let our listeners know about this, that we have this course. Yes. Now, a couple summers ago, we made our course Business English for the Global Professional. Remember, Michelle, you did a lot of interviews. You interviewed native speaking yes. professionals. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That was so much fun. Yeah. And yeah, guys, one of the things we did talk about was international negotiations, right? Yeah, exactly. And now this year we are launching along with Press Play Academy, a Chinese exclusive version for our listeners of this course. That's why I'm so excited, Michelle, to talk about this. So right now, guys, we're going to tell you how to get this course, this exclusive Chinese version, because it's now available. And then we're going to talk a little bit more, Michelle, about negotiations. All right. Are you ready? Absolutely. I'm excited. All right. So if our listeners want to go and grab that course right away, where can they go first? What's step one? Okay. Step one is go to allearsenglish.com slash press play. Yes. P-R-E-S-S. P L A Y. Yeah, you got it. And guys, if you want to get 250 NT dollars off, and that's big savings, right? You want to type in the promo code A E E 250. That's going to get you those 250 NT dollars off the price. And what else, Michelle? What else is Press Play Academy offering here? Okay, well, this is amazing. Yeah. So Press Play Academy is offering an award of 2000 NT dollars. That's for students who complete the two-month study plan and assignments. So you get an award for completing it. I know. It's so cool. And that's if you join in this special, you know, early bird promotion period. It's not for anyone who joins later. It's just for the listeners and the students who join now. So if you guys are ready to really buckle down, learn about negotiations yeah. and business English, this is really the time to get in, right, Michelle? What do you think? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of exciting stuff going on this promotion. Very exciting stuff. So, guys, go on over there, allearsenglish.com slash press play to get in on this. Yeah, you got it. Michelle, let's get into a couple of vocabulary words, okay. which are just a tiny, tiny sliver. What does that mean, Michelle? Sliver. Good bonus for today. A tiny, tiny piece. I think of a piece of pizza, right? Yeah. Like, uh, or, or sometimes when you don't want to eat the whole cake, you eat just like a sliver. You can say, can I just have a sliver? It's a tiny piece. Exactly. I think of a piece of cake, like a little piece of cake. You yeah. want cake, but you don't want too, too much. You don't want to feel awful. So we're giving you a tiny little <laughs> sliver of what you're going to get in the larger course. Guys, there is so much more in this course. Let's talk about this word concessions. When it comes to negotiations, what does it mean? Well, concessions are things that you have to concede, which yeah. means you wanted something, but yeah. in, the nego in the negotiation, you have to say, okay, fine, like I'm going to give that up yeah. so that we can negotiate. So it's the things that you kind of give up, let go of. It's so true. Have you done any negotiations lately, Michelle, in any aspect of life, whether it's business or just life, personal life, home life, anything? 
Um, not uh, sometimes with like uh, figuring out some childcare situations and oh. talking to a summer camp or something like that. I remember with my son's summer camp, sometimes we had to you know make negotiations about the days and this and that and how does it work and yeah. you know like there are a lot of things there. But I know you've been doing a lot of negotiations. Yeah, I've just had a yeah, I've just had a big event in my life. Right, probably one yes. of the biggest events of one's life is I bought my first home. Right. Awesome. Congrats. Uh, That's right. Yay. So excited. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) That was a weird scream. Yay. Um, (laughs) So I bought my first home and inevitably there are concessions we have to make when we make our offer, right? In terms of that negotiation, right, Michelle? Right, right, right. Exactly. So you, that that's with a ton of things with homes, like buying a home. I know. Yeah. You might have to concede something. So Lindsay, I mean, do you have any, any like examples of that? Yeah. I mean, well, one of the concessions that we did not offer, so there's, you know, it's a tough housing market right now in Denver. Actually, to be honest, the whole country, are you seeing that in New York city as well? The housing market is just insane. Everywhere is insane right yeah. now. And the suburbs, a lot of people move to the suburbs. And right. So there, it's, it's really crazy. So I would say the suburbs are really, I, I know for sure that they are, they're crazy out there. Yeah. So, But some concessions I was just not willing to give. So this is an yeah. example of a concession, something I did not concede to, right? So what many people buying houses in this market here in Denver are offering is they're offering the seller. You're going to, this is going to surprise you, actually. They're offering the seller you know, 10% over market value, over value, listing price. And then they're offering the seller like two months free rent to live in the house. Really? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? So that is an example of a concession I was not willing to give. Just the fact that someone wanted to live in my house for free after I bought it, it was too much. So guys, some concessions we give, others we don't. In my case, for my home, we did concede to a few things, right? We actually allowed the contract to get to speed up to move the dates up Mm -hmm. faster so the process of closing went faster for the Uh. the estate that we bought it from so that was that's an example of a concession we did go for and michelle there's another key vocab word that i think our listeners will find will tie right in here around negotiations and concessions what is it okay so this is finding common ground so Lindsay, what is that (laughs) And when is it important? Tell us about this one. Yeah, well, in the example of the house, and this is kind of a business negotiation is buying a house, right? Um, Basically, you need to find what is the thing that both of you are willing to kind of, that that you have in common? What is the thing that you share that's important that you could find that place? Michelle, what would be, like, how can we do this across cultures? How can we find common ground when we're doing business with someone from across the world? You know, in English, how can we do this? Ooh, um, good question. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, I assume we're going to talk about this in the course. Yeah, we're going to get into it more in the course. So we can't give all the answers away today, guys. That's why you want to <laughs> join the course. You want to get into it. But I think it has to do with getting to know the person as a person, trying to gather right. information, right. you know, about who they are, what they value. That is huge. Um, in this right. course, you know, and the cool thing about the special course for the Chinese version, guys, is that it includes a bonus course that is only in the Chinese version. And for this particular bonus course, Aubrey interviewed Josh Miles, and he does business across cultures all the time, right? So he talked wow. about in his interview about how to really dig in and find out what that common ground is across cultures. That is such a good interview. Did you catch a glimpse of that interview, Michelle? I didn't, but I'm sure that is fantastic because uh, that sounds like a very useful topic that's very important that will really, really help our listeners. Exactly. So, guys, you got to join the course to be able to see that bonus interview. And I also want to say, you know, when I was in graduate school, I studied intercultural negotiations and I have a good book recommendation. It's called Negotiation Genius for our listeners. Right? This is about how to find that common ground, guys, across cultures. So good. Oh, that's exciting. That's exciting. Okay. So, I mean, Lindsay, what are some other topics in this bonus course? Yeah. So in this exclusive bonus course, that's only in the Chinese version. I'm going to say that again. You don't get that in any other version of this course. We have topics on professional manners and politeness. Michelle, how important is that? Oh, 
that <laughs> is very important, right? So you have to know, you know, there there's so much between cultures where certain cultures may be more direct, something may be polite or impolite and from one culture to the next. So we talk about that, right? We talk about like how to introduce yourself and yep. others. Uh, we give you vocab, we give you strategies. So super, super useful. Exactly, exactly. And then again, like we said earlier, we go into international negotiation tips with the interview with Josh Miles, right? He has years of experience doing these negotiations. So you guys are going to find his advice so helpful. He's a native speaker, right, Michelle? That's right. That's right. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And what's the last one? So I know this piece is what students are going to be really excited about, right? What is it? Well, this is really about pronunciation, about accent awareness. So, you know, maybe like Indian, uh, you know, uh, Japanese, uh, Chinese languages. Yep. Um, hard to understand, right? So what what could it be? So like uh, you can learn how to understand others and improve your own pronunciation problems. Exactly. So we give you a very specific lesson, guys, in how to understand the Indian accent when people are speaking English, the Japanese accent in English, right? And the Chinese accent in English. And we show you what you could expect to hear and how to really understand that. Because imagine, exactly. Michelle, being in a business room, a, you know, a boardroom, and everyone is from all over the world. How do you understand right. their English? Different. Right, right, right. right. Oh. Exactly. Exactly. So it's important to be aware of these accents, right? Yes. Um, and that, that's just going to help everybody improve if you're aware of it as well, and you can improve your, your own pronunciation. Exactly. And the final lecture in that bonus course, guys, again, this is just the bonus is the exclusive piece in this particular Chinese version is a lesson on vocab and grammar for describing numbers. Because I know a lot of you guys are in right. meetings, you're describing charts and reports, and you yeah. really need the numbers for that. Right, Michelle? Absolutely. Absolutely. That is huge. That'll be very, very helpful. Yeah, I love it. And then we've got two role plays in there and we have transcripts for every lesson. So Michelle, how can our listeners get it? I think we've described, you know, what's in here and there is so much more in there too, right. but we need to know where to go to get this course. Where can we go? Okay. So remember, go to all earsenglish.com forward slash press play. That's P R E S S. P-L-A-Y. Yeah, and type in the promo code AEE250, and that's going to yes. get you 250 NT dollars off, right? And don't forget, Michelle, what is that award that students are going to get to on, yes. to on top of the special promo code? This is in addition to that, right? In addition to it, <laughs> Press Play Academy will offer you this award if you complete the two month study plan and assignment and that uh, and assignments and that award is two thousand NT dollars. Oh my gosh, how cool. cool so you're stuff. gonna get yeah. money. That's amazing. We're gonna yeah. get money. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it. So good, Michelle. All right, guys. So remember go to all earsenglish dot com slash press play and type in the co promo code. Oh, I keep screwing screwing that up today, Michelle. Promo <laughs> code A E E two five O. This deal's going away soon, guys. It's not gonna be available forever. So go and get it now. Michelle, any final thoughts on negotiations across cultures? Anything we want to keep in mind as we come away? Any takeaway today? Any takeaway today? Guys, you know, be confident. You can do it. This is going to give you the tools that will give you that confidence when you go in because negotiations can be intimidating, especially when you're doing it across cultures, right? So we are here for you. This is a special version that's going to give you that confidence of knowing exactly what to do. So I'm very excited for, for this offer. Yeah, so excited to see you guys in there. And Michelle, thanks for hanging out today. I'll see you soon. <laughs> thanks. Bye, Lindsay. Bye, guys. Take care. Bye.